What's up guys, Steve here with Scotch and Things. Hey, kind of a cool, fun video today. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while, but they're kind of, it's something I haven't been able to find out a ton of information on other than watching videos. Their website's kind of garbage. Um, I They've got a Facebook group um, that... I've waited a couple months and I still haven't been approved for yet. Um, Instagram is kind of non-existent. He is, his books are open and I emailed him, I don't know, a month ago and still haven't got anything back. So when I saw one of these on the secondary market come up, I, I jumped at it. So until I can kind of get one, which is cool to my spec and like, I mean, custom. If I can get a, get in on his books, that would be super awesome. Whoa, sorry guys. Um, these are just, I think these are just badass knives, guys. And like I said, kind of hard to find a ton of information on other than watching videos. Like I said, his website is, where'd the little card go? I don't think he sent me the little, little card. Hmm, oh, yep, there it is. So this is what you get. This is the packaging. A little kind of nylon sleeve. Sorry, my neighbor is mowing. And kind of the authenticity card or whatever. It's just <laughs> direware. This is what you get, direware. Look at this beast, guys. Oh my gosh, I think I just think these things are super cool looking. Super smooth for a big knife. Oh wow. Okay, there you go. I'm kind of drawn to these funky blade shapes I've kind of found out. This is very similar to, um, I think this recurve Tanto, even though this is more swooping here, it, it reminds me of my Norseman. Oh, wow, this is the first time ever handling one of these guys. And it's comfy. Oh, just contoured scale, contoured titanium on the back side. So this is the Solo V5, I believe. Um, and I've heard that, and it's an M390. Um, he does his logo, or his font where is it around the pivot on the other side I'm a moron so you can see dire wear right there and then he does m39 he the blade steel is right there m390 dire wear um just kind of a cool big overbuilt knife uh, zero blade play. Nice, you can kind of choke up on it here. Wow, I dig this thing, guys. This thing is awesome. And really not too, I mean, that's a giant clip. So, but it's, I'm squeezing down and it's not digging in at all. I just dig these recurves, man. I don't know why. Um, I think that's a cool looking knife. I will carry this as soon as I'm done carrying my Strider um, XL, even though I've got a lot of cool stuff on the way, guys. I went on another buying spree. I'm just a moron. But um, like I said, I've always liked these, seeing pictures. I can't really, you can't really get on that thumb stud. That's more of a stop. Um, just cool little accents here. These like little holes you know drilled in here it's just a very cool looking knife um you know nice robust it's really thin hollow grind and then it thickens up out here it's just a fat little chunky knife it reminds me of what is it it's like a big version of the was it is it the zt 350 god correct me if i'm wrong if you know what i'm talking about 
it looks like a bigger version kind of of that knife. It's like that knife's bigger brother. But like I said, it's hard to, now I'm gonna carry the shit out of this guys because this was used. It's in great condition though. Um, God, look at that, it's just stupid smooth. Um, he's got a bunch of different versions out. Like if I get on his books, I don't know if I'm gonna, I thought about getting this same version, but blacked out, you know, just kind of murdered out black carbon fiber or who knows. Um, I'll let you know if that happens, if he ever responds back. Uh, I don't know what else to say, guys. Like I said, if you know more about this knife than me, I've always seen pictures and videos and thought these things were just badass. And then watching videos, people say how comfortable they are. But really there hasn't, a lot of the videos are from years and years and years ago. Um, we're talking like seven, eight year old videos. There's not a whole lot of new stuff out there on Direware. I, I don't know if he's slowed down. Like I said, that I've tried to get into the Facebook group. Um, and I don't know if it's just because they're such a small number. I think it's only like 600 and some members. If there's so little action going on there, it just takes time to get approved. Um, you know, these are 100% custom from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Just He just makes them himself. Like I said, it's, it's kind of hard for me. I've looked to try and find some information. His website gives you literally nothing, nothing. I mean, go check it out. It's just diaware.com, diaware knives, something like that. It, it shows some pictures of some previous knives. It says that his books are open now and to email them, which I haven't gotten nothing back on. There's really no information about him or the knives themselves, really. There's some tech specs. But as far as websites go, it's pretty uninformative. Um, cool looking back spacer. Ooh, guys, this thing is awesome and comfortable and i can't wait to carry it i'm going from one gigantic night to another um so yeah as soon as that one month edc is up on my uh on my strider xl which i love that knife guys i love that knife um i'm gonna start carrying this bad boy so there you go let me know comment down below like share subscribe whatever you want to do um thanks for watching stay tuned i've got a lot of cool stuff coming up um and uh that's about it guys i'm actually taking off today I'm gonna go see my parents um so we'll see if anything my brother has new so but there you go guys the direware solo version five i believe um god i love that it almost i don't know just really cool looking knife smooth i know it's a big blade but just any way you any way you flick it this thing comes out so just super excited and happy to get my hands on one all right guys thanks for watching i'll talk to you later